What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I'm doing on painting the Marx Brothers. And you know what else we're doing today? Yeah, that's right. We're chilling out. We're cracking a, a cold one. This doesn't smell particularly great, but we'll see how this beer tastes. Anyway, guys, I'll give you an update on, on how the vid's going. Let's go for it. In the last video, I was talking about this problem I was having of not being able to recreate a gray. Well, I came up with something of a solution. I have these two grays that I can somewhat recreate. The one on the left there is a lighter gray made from uh, 10 parts white to one part black. And I did this using that paint right there. I would pour it uh, just a small amount onto my uh, palette knife and then pour it into the cup. I also used inks of uh, the same droplet count to help uh, really give some more body to that that paint. Uh, and the other one is four parts white to one part black. And this way I can kind of effectively recreate this using both the ink and the art paint. I'm able, I'm going to be able to uh, going forward have that same equation. The other thing is I shouldn't need to be able to recreate too much in the long run because I don't plan on making a lot of black and white characters, just these guys. So it's good to have as much as I do, but I won't need as much as I do. So I can use these two grays as midtones between white and black, and then I can add a little bit more white or a little bit more black when I need to highlight or shade any particular space. So there's this other thing I wanted to show you, which is look at how bad these guys look right now. For some reason, the black spray paint I used when I originally base coated them did this really weird thing. I think I used too much. I think I, I used it incorrectly, user error, where it would gunk up inside all the crevices. And at first I didn't notice it because it's a matte black. But then after I start putting other paints down on it, weird textures started to pop up. So I'm sorry to say I didn't film it, but I went ham on the three of these guys, carving off weird rough paint. So what you're seeing is the leftover of the mini where it's been scratched. Here I'm pointing out where I think I see some more, but it's hard to make out in detail. The other thing I def uh, realized, discovered, developed, that I wanted to share with you guys was this. This is kind of a rough stand-in for a wet palette. I was using my uh, plastic palette and to keep the paint safe over a couple nights. It didn't work as long as a wet palette did, but uh, it works for a little while. I just took a, a piece of paper towel and dunked it in my paint water, let it drip until it, uh, it wasn't dripping excessively, and then just lay it over the paint. And that's it, it, it worked for three to four days, I'd say, which is better than just leaving it out overnight. And that's where I'm at, guys. I'm sorry to say they're not completely done yet, but uh, I'm proud of all this work I've put in. Uh, I'm not proud of the product yet. They don't, they don't look good yet, but they will one day, I swear it. So here's Harpo up close to say goodbye. I hope everybody enjoyed the update. Uh, yeah, sleep well, everybody.